Hot gin codeine, I'm a flow like a fan. Hit that dollar, nigga, you gon' get our ass. up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of fishing more outdoors today we got myself and we got this dude right here mr b-rock outdoors dude you're gonna be in the whole video today no <laughs> y'all can probably see it down below in the title we are going to be doing a walleye catch and cook today hopefully cross your fingers we're on our way to the lake right now to Hop in the boat with uh, Cousin Breddy once again. Uh, it's really windy out today. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks for filming. We got like... We got like 20 mile an hour winds, so I'm not sure how much of the walleye fishing part of this video we're going to be showing, but uh, yeah. Uh, we're going back out with Brett again. Hopefully we're going to crush. Probably going to be trolling again. But after that, y'all, we're going to be smoking. Well, we're going to be smoking at a very high temperature. We're basically going to be baking the walleyes in the Traeger and smoking the walleyes. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're pretty much cooking them on the Traeger. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned, y'all. This should be a really fun episode. Hopefully we crush some walleyes and hopefully this is gonna be good. In the scene, I'm flexing in the camera. Check my fellas, we on fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> First cast of the day. It is gnarly out here. Probably gonna start trolling soon here, y'all. Stay tuned. Hopefully it's gonna be Crush City tonight. Freaking salty, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you glad I'm not getting wet? Yeah, me too. We got another walleye. It is gnarly out here. Welcome back, y'all. As you can see, we are back in the truck and on our way to the fish board headquarters. Definitely a totally different night than last weekend when we went out to that lake. Could be a hundred things, but I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on the moon tonight. We had a full moon last time we were out and uh, yeah, super dark night tonight. But hey, we got five walleyes in the live well. So pretty decent night, eh? Yeah, not bad at all. No regrets. Anyways, I'm whooped, y'all. Definitely, uh, we're not gonna be eating these fish tonight, but we are going to go home and clean them quick, but probably gonna eat them in the morning, so. Yeah, stay tuned. We will see you guys back at the Fish and More headquarters. Oh, hi, Kevin. We got the walleyes, y'all. <sighs> Alright y'all, me and Brock are both absolutely whooped, so I got the tripod set up here. I'm going to chop up the fish, B-Rock is going to wash them, and then I'm about to look crawling in my bed immediately after this, and yeah, I'll probably just see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. Dude, looks like it's gonna freaking thunderstorm. Instead of getting right into cooking up those walleyes, myself and B-Rock are gonna go on a little kayak mission just for like an hour and a half or until we get rained out and try to catch some bass, but I'm not gonna film too much of it, so just stay tuned. How long I got? Half an hour? 45, let's do 45, 45. All right, Damn, dude, I'm gonna get so wet. Got him! 
first bass of the year. Dude, that was sick. That felt so good. It's good to be back, baby. Good to be back. Is there fish in there? Oh, yeah. Better. Better. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. spawn pre-spawn sorry big old pre-spawn girl let's go baby <laughs> badass dude I'm starving. It is freezing out. Looks like it's gonna rain still. But anyways, we are about to start getting those walleyes going. I'm kind of excited. Got the old fish sitting in a bowl of water. Whoa. And the house is kind of messy right now. We didn't clean up after supper yesterday. Y'all don't care though. Chesty cam engaged to start this out. We're gonna be taking an egg. Nah, actually. We're gonna be taking two eggs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty much out of the shore lunch oven style. This is like my favorite or my go-to anyways for baked walleye. I'm just gonna take that, put it there, and then we're gonna mix like that much panko with it. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of fin and feather. This uh oven style is pretty potent as is, but just because I added some panko. Just gonna put a little little bit extra in here. And unfortunately, Brock had to head to work, so I'm only gonna be cooking two of these boys. Let's go ahead, take our first piece. Just gonna set it in there. Kinda just start throwing this batter on top of it. And the trick is to really press that onto there just for the maximum crispiness. Just gonna go ahead, set that there. Man, you know, I'm just now noticing that I messed up. I forgot to put this in the egg. That sucks, god dang it. So, we're just gonna try to get some of this off. This really isn't that big of an issue, or it wouldn't be in the, in the oven. I don't know how, or I don't know if it's gonna be an issue in the Traeger, but we gotta do this anyways. Man, did I mess up there. All right, getting ahead of myself. We gotta dip this in the egg first and then get the batter on there for ultimate crispiness. All right, honestly, it's probably gonna be even more crispy now, but I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough of this breading. Oh yeah, we're golden. All right, that's either gonna be super crispy or super soggy. We'll find out. For a little side dish too, y'all. I am gonna whip up a few walleye wings just to hold me over while I'm waiting for these to cook. Not gonna film too much of this part though. Okay. 
Good job, Mule Traeger. Just hit 450. That's what we got her set to, by the way. I didn't think I mentioned that. We're just gonna take her pan, set her right here. And we're gonna be setting a timer. I'm gonna unhook this probe. We're gonna be setting a timer for 20 minutes. And yeah, pretty excited. These are looking pretty good too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, get ourselves some sweet chili sauce. And we just got stuff everywhere right now. I always forget to cut out like the wings and the cheeks out of the walleyes and I always get so mad because <sighs> it's literally so good. Oh. Stay tuned y'all. We got about yeah, 10 minutes left on the dragger. Moment of truth y'all. Pretty crispy, which means I bet this is gonna be pretty freaking bomb. Holy buckets! All right, y'all. Once again, definitely thinking we're gonna be going with the sweet chili sauce. I am kind of obsessed with this stuff right now for fish. Dang, that's not looking good. And you know, not the most prepared and best catch and cook I've ever done. Holy buckets! Crispy test. It passes. It's pretty crispy. I'm going right in. I'm so hungry. It is bomb. Like. Holy crap. Mm. Forgot to take those bones out. I am not even fooling. I could eat this whole thing without sauce. That was a little aggressive, but it, it is so good. You can taste like the you can taste the smoky flavor from the Traeger. It is phenomenal. Like I'm never, I'm probably never gonna use my oven again for fish. Like listen to this, y'all. Hear that crispiness? Like that's nice and crispy. Super flaky. I ended up mixing up some Cholula and mayo. Because I ran out of sweet chili. It's bomb. No fooling. If I am at the Fish and More headquarters and the Traeger is up and running, I'm probably never going to bake walleyes or any kind of fish in my oven ever again. Anyways, y'all, I think we're going to end this video here. Kind of an awesome one. I feel like a bit all over the place, but... We, we kind of did a lot of stuff in today's video. Got to catch some walleyes, tried a new way to cook walleyes, and we got to hammer some bass. But anyways, y'all, if you guys want to see more videos, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, like this video, share it, and yeah, I think that's it. Stay tuned for more. I think we might be going camping next. See you then.